Oh. Yeah. Your heart's still racing, or have you just, you just no, come to cucumber the whole time? Um, no, it's, it's still racing a little bit. Uh, you know, not how you drop the ninth inning, but our guys battled back, and, you know, Spivey told us he felt good, so that wasn't our plan to throw him out there in the middle of the jam, but he's been there before, and that's what I told him when I went out there. I said, hey, just like old times, baby, go out there and just minimize this thing, and, you know, we had some good fortune. They popped up the bunt, but then he had to make some big pitches to some good hitters. Is it a scenario he had to talk in a letting pitch or, you know, just kind of a trust factor? No, uh, Friday he didn't feel great. Saturday he felt good. And that was the thing. It's like, hey, man, like, if you got an opportunity to close out the game, like, we want you to be ready. It's like, of course. So, yeah, I didn't have to talk him into it. <laughs> two game, you know, two game weekend sweep. And, and I know you guys still have another game to play later in the year, but what does it mean to win this series? Well, it's uh, obviously means probably more to the fans than it does to me. Like, I'm happy for our fans because they care so much. But I respect what Coach Forbes and their staff do. They do it the right way. They got great players. Uh, it's great, man. This is the biggest crowd I've ever seen in North Carolina since when I played and every time we've ever been here. Um, to be sold out, you know, at our place, they've been sold out here. I mean, that's awesome experience for our guys. Hoover and Starling, I mean, I feel like we had this conversation over and over again, but I mean, how many those guys always come through for you in these situations? It's more the same thing. Yeah, I thought Hoove was pressing a little bit at Campbell. He cares so much about our baseball program because he's worked his tail off. And uh, I don't tell a lot of our guys this, but I grabbed him. I said, hey, man, you got to have more fun, dude. Like, you've earned this opportunity. Uh, you start positioning on the line. Like, you're going to play every day as long as I'm the coach here. And um, just happy for him because he's earned all those moments. And then Starling came right behind him. And, uh, big swing. Amax play, I think, in the seventh. And then also Joey Green just keeping the ball in the infield um, allowed us to keep the lead as well. So a lot of big plays, a lot of big moments. Two strike approach. I think mean, JC and Starlin had 0 2 hits. So just, you know, what does it mean? For that, that approach you guys work on to shorten up and then put the ball Yeah, I mean, just got to put pressure on the defense. And uh, I'm just glad they're battling in there and not just hey, swinging at arm action. So, uh, but definitely some, some crucial clutch two strike hitting there.